Welcome. In this module, we'll talk about CIS control number 20, pen tests and red team exercises, and this is the second part of the series. And this is the layout for version 7 controls. We've worked all our way through the 20th control, penetration tests and red team exercises. And this is the system entity relationship diagram. Penetration testers and penetration testing plans are used for pen tests and red team exercises. Control 20.5, create test bed for elements not typically tested in production. So create a test bed that mimics a production environment for specific penetration tests and red team attacks against elements that are not typically tested in production. Why? Because business may not allow or it may be too critical a system to test in production, such as attacks against supervisory control and data acquisition and other control systems. So uh, sometimes we don't do penetration test in the production environment. Um, and we should try to mimic that in the non-production environment by creating a test bed. 20.6, use vulnerability scanning and penetration testing tools in concert. So we should use them together. Use vulnerability scanning and penetration testing tools in concert. The results of vulnerability scanning assessment should be used as a starting point to guide and focus the pen testing efforts. And that's usually the practice. Whenever pen testers are doing uh, the pen testing, they start with vulnerability scanning, they pick up the uh, vulnerability scan report, and they then have to prove, and this is the difference between vulnerability scanning and penetration testing. The penetration tester picks up, let's say, each of the five vulnerabilities and has to prove that each of the vulnerabilities is, is exploitable. If it's exploitable, then the penetration tester will report that particular vulnerability in the pen test report with evidence that that particular vulnerability is exploitable. And this is what differentiates between a vulnerability scan, which is an automated uh, tool-based uh, scan, and an actual penetration test. 20.7, ensure results from penetration tests are documented using open machine-readable standards. Wherever possible, ensure that red team's results are documented using open machine-readable standards, for example, SCAP, devise a scoring method, for determining the results of red team exercises so that results can be compared over time. So we need to have a standard way of evaluating and reading those reports, and we need to have a standard way of scoring those reports as well. 20.8, control and monitor accounts associated with penetration testing. This is very important. Whatever accounts we are going to perform penetration testing, those, those need to be controlled, monitored, and we need to make sure that those accounts are not available generally for users. Any user or system accounts used to perform penetration testing should be controlled and monitored to make sure they are only being used for legitimate purpose and are removed or restored to normal function after testing is over. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.